What's going on, family? It's your boy, General Africa. I got a little fun, uh, fun light topic for y'all, man. Um, I don't know if you guys and, and gals out there, you know, I got female subscribers too. No, but, you know, I look at the, I watch the NBA a little bit. Um, you know, uh, I used to watch the NFL a lot more. I really haven't been on the NFL this year. I've been following more of the NBA for whatever reason. Um, my question to you guys is, who would you put, who would your starting five be by position? Now, just a little, just a note. If you have a player that plays, say, small forward, but he could play shooting guard, and the same thing with center, power forward, you know, whatever, then you can do that. And uh, I'm going to do that in this video. So, uh, so you'll see what I'm talking about. So, Starting five, my starting five would be would be this. At point guard, Kyrie Irving, right? I love his 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 ball handling skills. Um he's he's shown that he can be very clutch. Um I feel like he's improved in his um passing abilities and vision and he's a real good shot. So uh Kyrie Irving definitely number one. Uh at number two I was really struggling with this because you know I'm a I'm a Spurs fan actually, um, but I'm also a fan of uh, Jimmy Butler, um, so I I really went back and forth forth with these two, um, but my number three pick pretty much um, made me decide on who I was going to pick at shooting guard. So I put Ky I, not Kyrie I put Kawhi Leonard at two. I, I, to me, it's no question he can he can guard any shooting guard in the league. He has great defense. Um, he's just a monster, man. He he really is very very solid shot. Um, pretty decent three point shot. Pre very decent three point shot. Very very good. Great at the mid range. The guy can do everything: pass, shoot, um, score, everything. Defense, of course. Um, and that duel between the Bulls, um, well, Jimmy Butler from the Bulls and uh, against Kawhi Leonard on the Spurs really sealed the deal for me. So uh, I put him at two. Um, at three, LeBron James. I'm not even going to explain that. Four, four, I would go with Anthony Davis. The dude is just a monster, man. He's really having a breakout year. Uh, he can play four and five. Dude can do everything, man. I'm not even going to get into that. He can do everything. Five. This was probably the hardest for me. This was the hardest for me because I went back and forth on whether to get, um, have two hybrids. So a hybrid power forward center at, at four and five or just maybe a more, uh, you know, a guy with more of a, power forward skill set at four and then a, a true center so i ended up going with that and at five i would have to put um drumming that was a hard pick because you know i had i was looking at white side i was looking at uh demarcus cousins um and it's still it's still not a slam dunk pick for me, uh, but what did it for? Why didn't it put Whiteside in there? Was just because he's great defensively, offensively he's very good too, but not as good as I want him to be. And I don't know why I picked. It, it was just a toss up, and I just went with Drummond over, uh, over Cousins, and same thing with Embiid. Uh, so that's my that's my top five. Let me know what you think and why I'm out.